Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Keeping Up With Kells. This video is not a story time and it might not be that long but a lot of y'all asked me so I figured you know what let me just make a little YouTube video and tell y'all about how I did it and how I grew my hair back so quick after I did the big chop. So basically let me tell you so hold on when I did the big chop I did it because like my hair kept falling and breaking like this is when I just started doing hold on, move it a little closer. this is when I just started doing anything with my hair my mom finally let me do my own hair because you know I was in high school or whatever she was like you know you're old enough to do your own hair figure it out so that I thought I was figuring it out but in the process of me figuring that out, I was damaging my hair so bad. Like, I had bleached my hair like three times. I had cut it. I tried to bleach it and perm it. At the same time, my hair started falling out. Like, I swear to God, my hair started falling out in big chunks. And I got pictures to prove. So, you know, I'm going to throw them in here, of course. But, like, like the, the hair size was, like, it was, like, this big in my hand. Like, chunks of the hair was falling out while I'm combing. My hair was just eating away. Like, it was damaged badly the heat damage my mom used to text wise and perm my hair when i was younger i swear to god i know y'all be like oh black girls always talking about some perm this perm that but growing up we really was wearing perms is what y'all really don't understand like it's not an excuse at all i'm trying to show y'all like it's really not when growing up in a black community and having thick thick full hair it's like we was just we, we were taught like that it wasn't professional straight hair was professional and stuff like that you know so but in those days our moms was of course taking us to the Dominican we either gonna get a washing set or she was gonna put the you know the texturizer or the perm in your hair to make it soft and you know for me either soft and kinky curly or soft and straight but yeah so all of that was going on my hair was like i said my hair was dropping i think i was kind of going through a little depression stage too i'm not gonna lie like it was a lot going on in my life when my hair started falling out like I, like i told y'all you know another story time i told y'all the strange man walked up to me yeah yeah like you know that's when i just started doing whatever i was leaving my hair out for days not combing it i was just pulling the comb when i do comb it, i'm pulling my hair out just pulling it and pulling it and all types of stuff like i was using the wrong shampoos the wrong conditioners like cheap shampoos and stuff like that on my thick natural hair and it's like these cheap stuff is not what i need right now so eventually i was on facebook one day and i was just no i'm lying i was on pinterest and like i seen this picture and it was cute like this girl had like short little hairstyle i'm like oh this is cute like i can get down with this i can you know i can rock with it so I started looking through more pictures of short hairs and I finally found some in between the two styles that I like. Because, you know, I like the, the style with, like, the little swoop, but I also like the finger waves. So, what I did was, I had the swoop and some finger waves. But the swoop wasn't that long. Yeah, but the swoop wasn't that long. But, anywho, so, yeah. That's how I had cut my hair. I cut it real short. It was, like, in the beginning, I'm, I'm telling y'all the truth here now. So, don't, don't come in the comments trying to come for me. Because I'm telling you the truth and I'm giving y'all help. I ain't bald no more, so you can't play with me. Anywho. So, yeah. What was I about to say? I don't remember what I was about to say. I cut my hair. I did this thing. Oh, yeah. At first, my hair was taking a while to grow back. Like, I swear to God, it was taking so long to grow back. Like, I did the chop in, like, October. And like December, around December, it was like still the same length. Like it grew like half a centimeter. It didn't grow much at all. Then I realized like, okay, I got it. I can't just cut it and expect it to grow back just like that. Boom! It's not a starfish. It's not, the legs is not just gonna come back. You know what I'm mean? So I realized I'm like, okay, I gotta take care of it this time. I can't mess around and do stupid stuff. So that's when I finally braided it. Like I finally found somebody who could grip them little short pieces of hair and braided it. I had my mix going back and then i've been using this oil you're not gonna find it nowhere because this is homemade so this is why i made the video to tell y'all so don't be like oh, where you bought it from i didn't buy it from nowhere i made it so yeah it's vitamin e oil coconut oil a little bit of argan oil aloe vera oil um i have a little bit of the wild growth i didn't use a lot but i put a little bit of the wild growth in here because i don't really like the smell but it do help my hair grow um i also have i don't know i forgot what i said vitamin e jamaican black castor coconut oil 
What else? Ain't gonna lie, it's like the little bottle of vitamin E is like this big, and I put the whole thing in here. Um, the black castor, I put probably like this much in there. This bottle was full. I, I use it all the time. Every time I'm switching my wig, it's going my scalp. So, that's what I'm trying to show y'all. We don't have to, you know, weigh your natural hair out just because you decide to cut it and go natural. No, you can wear your wigs and let it grow to your desired length and then wear it out. That's what I'm still doing. I want my hair to be down to my booty before I'll be like, I'm done with wigs. Because the wigs be touching my booty, sweetheart. So, when my hair hit my, my wig length, we Gucci. But right now, it's at like it's like an inch and a half under my bra strap. That ain't, that ain't my butt. That ain't my butt. But, yeah. So, yeah. Vitamin E oil, argan oil. A little bit of aloe vera gel. Like, the little gel thing. I put some in it because aloe vera is actually good for you. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. The castor oil. I'm trying to make sure. The wild growth. Oh, and some lavender. I put a little bit of lavender in it and peppermint. I put a whole thing of peppermint um, oil in here. And I don't know why it ain't turning green, but I put the whole thing or whatever. But, yeah, that is what I use. And let me tell y'all, I don't wash my hair. Like, don't take this the wrong way. The only time shampoo touches my hair is when I'm going to the Dominicans for a washing set. Because shampoo, look at the bottle of shampoo. It has alcohol in it. Alcohol is not good for your hair at all. So, I suggest you try to find things that literally are made for, like, if you're black, this is for if you're black. White people, you know, y'all can do this too. But this is for if you're black. Look for some, like, some of our homemade remedies. You know, not don't follow the hype and order the hair pills and stuff like that. No. Tap into your, you know, your motherland instincts. And get with the program and start using the oils. The natural oils. No pills, no nothing. Natural oils. Use the, the I know it's expensive, but... The natural hair conditioner and shampoos are actually worth it because it's not as damaging. You you feel me? It does make a difference what shampoo you use and what conditioner you use. It definitely do because the shampoo can dry your hair out and then you put in the conditioner and the conditioner is so watery. It's not doing nothing. You have to find the right brand for you. So it's like you might have to play around with it a little bit. Me, I can't put coconut oil on my scalp by itself. It has to be mixed with something because my scalp is allergic to it. If I put coconut oil on my scalp by itself, my scalp will start bleeding and turn like it will turn red and start bleeding. My scalp is allergic to it. And that is something that happened after I did the big chop. Before that, it never happened. After I did the big chop, the coconut oil just started burning my scalp. So, you know, you have to find what works best for you. It's not for me, don't copy me wholeheartedly and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do everything she did. No. You have to, you know, get with the program and do what's best for you. My hair is not like your hair. My mother is Indian and my father is black. So, my hair might look thick and full, but it's actually very soft and curly when I wet it. So, I mean, don't copy me. But, what else? Um, deep conditioner is a must. When I go to the Dominicans, I don't go to the Dominicans often. I probably go to them, like, every other month for, like, the deep conditioner treatment, the hot oils and stuff like that. But, that is a must. The rice water... You can do that. I wouldn't suggest doing it too much because it's a protein and it's going to dry out your hair eventually. But once a month, twice a month, you could definitely do that. Anything more than that, you're going to start damaging your hair. Like they said, too much of a good thing is not always a good thing. So, yeah. I keep my hair braided. I always got my wigs on. You know, under my stock, under my wigs, there's always a stocking cap to protect it. You know, keep it tight you know when i come home rip the wig off take the sun cap off let my hair breathe it's not like oh your hair is gonna be in a wig 24 7 no because you're gonna come home and just rip the wig off one day and hire me out and it's okay once your hair is braided i swear to god braiding your hair is probably the most easiest way to get your hair to grow like i swear because it's a protective style for real it keeps all the moisture locked in like it's just like wow the stuff that i did was so easy it's easy enough for me to share it with y'all and not give you no visuals. Like, it's just so easy. Like, But, yeah, I might put a little menu at the um in the description of what I bought. Like, if I forgot anything else or whatever. The, I actually bought the bottle. That bottle, too, from the beauty supply store. It was, like, $1.99. So, if you are going to go get the oils, get the bottle one time. And you can heat it up before you put it in your scalp and then massage it in. It's all up to you and how you want to do it. If you want to pop it in the microwave for, like, 10, 15 seconds, not put it for 30 seconds. You are going to burn yourself. And it might explode. I don't know. I haven't done it. I only put it in for 10 seconds. So that's you. 10 to 15. But, okay, yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. But you also have to take care of your hair. Like, you can't just be lazy with it and slacking because it's never going to get nowhere. You 
you know, you have to try. You gotta be with it. But, um, I'm trying to think of any other products that I use. Oh, I also use, my mommy got this product called Stop It. It's like for dandruff and dry scabs and stuff like that. Being as my hair is always under a wig, you know, it'd be itchy and stuff. So I put the Stop It while, either before or after. It doesn't really matter the order. Before or after the oil. And after my fresh sneaks and stuff like that, you know? But yeah. If you guys like this video and want some more hair tips, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'm going to be putting before and after pictures, obviously, of my hair. And for me. But yeah. Comment, share, subscribe. Ooh.